Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of History Talk. I haven't done one of these in a while, so you know what? Why not? So, there's one individual who I honestly thought I was never going to do on this series that piqued my interest because of these. Yeah. Um, I was online and I was curious... Like who, uh, what? Who invented the humidifier? The inventor wasn't the one that really caught my attention. It's the one that kind of sparked the whole idea in the first place, which was someone I wasn't expecting. Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, that's. I, I mean, a lot of us know him for his work on things like. Mona Lisa. Um, but one thing I never expected was the fact that he invented the thing that actually measured the amount of humidity that was actually in the air. That is not... When I read that, I was kind of surprised. Um, now, Leonardo da Vinci, as I said, all of us know him for like his artwork and stuff like that. Um, the fact that he invented this actually kind of shift, it shifted my appreciation for him drastically. Like, it's not that I didn't appreciate him in the first place, but it's more in the manner that I never really considered how strong of a mind an artist can actually have until I read something like that. Then again, I don't consider it very often anyway. Um... <clears throat> But I guess, and this does impact me big time. I kind of already showcased the reason why. I actually have two humidifiers in the uh, the room. One of them is technically ambers. The other is, is uh, who am I kidding? Technically, both of them are ambers. But actually, one of them was a Christmas present for nostalgic Dave. Yeah. Uh, one way or the other, they're technically both of ours. Anyway. Well, regardless, I, as I always, uh, as pattern always goes, I always talk about like how this kind of thing impacts me. And quite frankly, where we live is it is so dry. The air is so dry here. Like, I can't think of a one moment where the humidifier isn't running where I don't cough. That's how bad it is for me. And I'm from a desert, so that says quite a bit. But I guess I couldn't really say that this kind of thing would. Uh, I I would I I can't say I'd be in the same position I would be in right now if it wasn't for when you think about it, Leonardo da Vinci for coming up with something like he did in the first place. Because you need baby, you need stepping stones to get to the end result, which are those. And I mean, his was the first. Now, he was not the one who ended up inventing the actual humidifier. That kind of was a process in the works over the years. It changed. There are many individuals I could shout out for that, but he definitely started the whole. Um, he, he his was definitely the first stepping stone of the whole thing. Which I find very intriguing and very commendable. I mean, there are several reasons that I could go into. I'm not going to go too much into depth about it, but yeah. Now, there are other pretty cool things that Leonardo da Vinci has done in the past, obviously. But quite frankly, that one thing piqued my interest the most. So, yeah. Um... What about you guys? Do you guys have any kind of... Any artists that you like that did any other side interesting things that you liked? Let me know in the comments below if you have a specific individual. Uh, if you liked this video, make sure to push that like button. And so far, you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't do many history talk videos, but when we do, it's at least interesting to a fault. Hopefully. <laughs> um, check out the channel itself, though, if you want to 
see anything else that you might enjoy. Uh, want to check out any of the other episodes of this series, though, click the link on the side of my head where the other side will, YouTube will give you an idea of something you might enjoy yourself. In the meantime, though, gonna head off. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Hope to see you guys in another video. Bye!